Lucy, actually, really quickly, you're long-time standing kind of Evil Dead family, literally, as well. But does that feel different still when you're coming on set nowadays? Does it kind of affect how you're kind of preparing at all? <laughs> yes, no, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't dragging any of my past roles into it. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, uh, there's a, the danger of that. You don't want to try to smush. But you've got to keep this world distinct and, and really respect this world and not bring anything else into it. So there's no hint of Xena in any of this or uh, even when I'm ass kicking. Apart from the fact that I had kind of a <laughs> well, sword thing. Well, I will say I was girl crushing because when we were doing some bowing out, I was like, oh, that's Lucy Lawless. No, <laughs> only because she has a gun. I look ridiculous with a gun. You know, I just, I look like I'm going to shoot myself in the face. But I got the arm off a guillotine and was fighting, you know, one of those paper ones that yeah. cuts yeah. and was fighting with that and to to Jill's eye, I was like, I, I certainly knew what to do with it. Yeah, she knew what to do with it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, kind of on a different angle, uh, one of the things I have noticed just now, actually, is that Evil Dead World is kind of void of women and men of color up until now. Huh. What made him think of that? Well, was, are you being racial? No, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm wondering if that actually kind of informs your character a little bit as well. Well, I mean, hmm, I never really thought about that, but what I will say is that I'm happy to have the job. And also, too, one of the things that attracted me to the project, the women on this show are badass, mm -hmm. and they kick butt, and they're not waiting on a man to save them. We're like, I got this. And so that's one of the things that attracted me. But I never really looked at it that way. But I, there, I guess it is diverse and in the most amazing way, and I'm very happy about that. And we consider that completely natural, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's, that's the way that's the what world I think, yeah. is. That is the way the world is. I agree completely. But I just, I just, you know, it's one of those things. You sit down, and you're like, that's interesting. That really kind of came up to me before. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. and the same, and it kind of same as what you we were speaking about earlier. You know, this is kind of a storied world. It's got a lot of fans, a lot of people who are just kind of obsessed with it. Did you feel you had to kind of play, you know, toward that, or you just like, this is my character. This is what I have to do. I'm just here to work. One of the things that I really loved is that I wasn't reprising a role. So as much as it's a bit scary to move into something like this because it's iconic, um, but I felt like the shoes that I'm wearing have never been worn before. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have the creative limitations, you know, and it was very, they were very welcoming to the creative process. And so I kind of felt like I was able to find her. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. No, it was really difficult for my role because I came to it late. They were all up and running. My role is a real, at first, she's a real lone wolf. And you just see her in glimpses at first. It does a bit of a slow burn until she hooks up with Fisher, which is Jill's character. And then they go on a rampage, a, a sort of a Thelma and Louise road trip yeah. <laughs> to, to track down Ash and his little loser buddies. Uh, and in my case, she's looking for vengeance for the death of her family and the first Deadite Plague. And uh, now that Ash has released it again, it's, it's all on. Game on. Did you get did you get covered in as much blood as you expected to? Oh, I, I, it, blood is a character on this. I mean, of course, in, evil, <laughs> in, in true Evil Dead fashion, blood is a character for sure. So we were all initiated. We were all wearing that particular character. Of yeah. course, yeah. yeah. What episode should we everybody look forward to for like the, the the battle here with the guillotine and the gun and everything like that? How far do we have to wait for that? Three, I think, is where we meet. Okay, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. In episode three. Episode three. Uh, and then then it's a road trip where literally stalking Ash and his loser buddies. I think that's the, I think that's the official term for them. Loser, loser buddies. buddies. Okay. Yeah. Because hashtag only... hashtag loser, loser buddies. buddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're just, we're playing to an audience, period. We don't care what age they are. I want Granny to watch this show. Because we hope that she'll find something in it that's funny. Or maybe the gore will laugh. People laugh at the gore in these movies, because it's so, you go, really? <laughs> People got that much blood in them? <laughs> you know. So we, we want to, A, appeal to the original.